Yeah, I think we're very blessed, uh, very thankful and grateful for the win. There's a lot of pleasing moments. I think um, really asked the guys for a clinical, clinical performance. I uh, thought it would be wet, and I thought we played, played some great rugby. Um, we really took the right options at the right times. I was very happy with that great drive we scored right from the kickoff. It just shows you can play that type of rugby in these uh, conditions. But uh, I think that's to, you know, you know, always take four tries to naught in, in, in test match rugby. Um, but I think the great thing for me is that uh, we wanted to work hard on our defence and last last week was awesome. We didn't give any, away any tries. And uh, today as well, you know, didn't give me any points, which I'm very, very happy with. And especially at the end, you know, we had 14 men in that scrum. We were we had a backline player on uh, on the scrum. And that's what I like about this team. You know, they want to give a points away, they put their bodies on the line, and awesome defence. I'm very, very happy with the with the defensive effort as well. Yes, I've spoken to the doctor, and uh, it's probably precautionary, and uh, he should be fine. Uh, we'll, we'll still monitor him and, and uh, you know see how he goes. But at this time, the doctor is uh, hopeful that he'll be fine. Uh, he injured his neck. France got a rib cartilage, but at this stage, uh, we're not very hopeful that he will be able to continue. We always know what to expect of Scotland. Um, you know, they're very, very physical. They kept on going. Um, you know, we were now they've worked hard enough, you know, to stop our drives. And I, I must actually give a lot of credit to Johan van Kran, our forward coach. We work really hard on driving and changing our drive, our, our drive setups. But you always know what to expect. Very, very physical. Very, very good at the breakdown. And um, but I think it's more a question that we really want to focus on our game. We weren't happy with the way we played, especially in our and even last year. Yeah. And uh, I really thought we made a big step up, especially in these conditions. You know. Uh, you know, unfortunately, right in the second half was a little bit difficult, but we need to play in these conditions. Uh, that's where the World Cup's going to be, same type of conditions. So, very happy with the team. But uh, they're still a quality side, and uh, maybe lucky sometimes. Uh, we're probably lucky at, at a few chances tonight. Yeah, again, you know, our forwards were very, very hard in our lineouts, and uh, it was great to have Bakis there. I thought he was awesome in the lineouts, uh, a lot of experience there. So, I, I thought so. I thought in the beginning they didn't get any ball. Uh, late on, when, um, you know, when it was wet, we didn't get ball at the end, which was frustrating, but uh, I think that's probably one of the areas that we put pressure on and uh, they just couldn't get going. And we really believe that uh, we need to start well because we know the second half will probably rain if they hit uh, they had a difficult side to play against. So we always, always wanted to start well, you know, put them under pressure and I thought it worked well. Yeah, I definitely think the uh, uh, the conditions had, a, had an effect in the second half. Um, you know, we, we had a couple of opportunities. Uh, one being my intercept that I didn't catch, uh, that could have could have changed the flow of the game. But um, you know, I thought Scotland were better in the second half. We, we got pinned a bit at the breakdown in the second period, and, and, and that's an area we um, we weren't uh, uh, you know happy with uh, in the second period. But uh, but given all the circumstances, you know, being able to beat Scotland 28 points to null. They, at Murrayfield is, is uh, you know, we'll take that any day of the week. So, um, happy with the way that we started, probably not happy with the way we finished. Yeah, I'm very, very proud of the guys, you know, uh, especially the way we've been playing. You know, also, we, uh, there's a lot of youngsters coming through, and I think there's a great blend. And uh, we've always said we want to, you know, have a 75% winning record is awesome. So, uh, one game left, and, uh, you know, uh, very, very happy with the consistency. I thought we played some awesome rugby this year, scored a lot of tries, and if you look in two games now, we've scored seven on, on, on two us. So uh, really focus for next week because that will be a dream season for me. It will be, I think, 80% plus, which hasn't happened uh, a lot of times. And, uh, you know, undefeated in two, uh, you know, in two away to us. But uh, by saying that, we know that uh, we need to keep our feet on the ground. Uh, always stay humble because every single test match is a new start and a, and a new challenge. So uh, next week will be the same. It will be an awesome game and uh, short and around for us. But... To sum up, I'm very, very happy with the way the team is progressing. Winning games now, playing great rugby, but we know it's still far, far away for us to go and we want to keep on improving. And we've got very high standards for ourselves, but very happy and proud of the team at the moment.